Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm back today with the Tasmanian Tiger Raid Pack Mark III. I'm just going to go over how to help improve the comfort on long walks and hikes. Really simple, really short, just a few quick tips to help you get this backpack as comfortable as possible. Let's go. So the first thing we're looking for when we're trying to get a nice customised fit with this Tasmanian Tiger Raid Pack Mark III is getting this waist belt over the hips and trying to get around about 50% of the weight of the backpack sitting on your hips. So get the waist belt up over the top of the hips it's going to sit over the top of your belt if you're wearing one or over the top of your trousers or shorts so you want that up over the hips get your waist strap and then you can tighten that so that it's nice and comfortable getting that weight over the top of the hips that's the first thing we want to do as we start customizing the fit on this okay we've got 50 percent of our weight sitting on our hips via the waist belt so what are we doing next? Well what will happen, because you've now got this belt sitting on the top of your hips, the shoulder straps are going to need adjusting to customise the fit. If these shoulder straps are sitting too high and you've got a gap here, you're going to then have to lower the shoulder straps. If you find that you can't get this waist belt over the top of your hips because the shoulder straps are preventing it then you're going to have to raise the shoulder straps to allow that to happen so in other words you don't want gaps in between here and you want to be able to get that waist belt over your hips in the first place which will mean if you can't get the waist belt over there because the straps are down too far raise them if you've got it over your hips and you've got a gap here, it's time to lower your shoulder straps. So to raise and lower the shoulder straps is really easy and this is one of the beauties of the Tasmanian Tiger Raid Pack Mark III is it just customises so nicely and it's going to give you a nice comfortable fit but it's up to you as the wearer to get that right and to know what you're looking for when you fit it. Here we've got the V2 Plus system that allows the shoulder straps to be moved up and down. It's just simple, you're just undoing that Velcro, undoing that Velcro, and then it's just a case of sliding this Velcro out from the bottom and out from the top, and then putting it into whichever section here gives you the best fit. You might have to try it a couple of times to get that shoulder measurement right, but it's really easy. And then it's just a case of doing it back in reverse when you find the sweet point that you're looking for. Put that down, flicking that back up and over, and then you've got your shoulder section customised to your body. We're nearly there to getting a customised Tasmanian Raid Pack Mark III. On to the next part. All right, we're on to the next part. Nearly there, nearly got this customised to fit you perfectly. So what are we doing next? These two straps here control the top of the backpack. So what will happen, you want to tighten these up so that it's nice and tight onto the top of your back for whatever load that you've got. It will vary from day to day if you've got different things in your backpack. Now why are we doing that? Well what will happen is if this isn't in nice and tight over your back, it's going to have a leverage effect and it's going to want to pull you back and make your day a misery because it's going to be pretty uncomfortable if you've done 10 or 20 miles with the backpack pulling you backwards. So what we're doing, we're getting these two straps and then we're pulling that weight in nice and firm onto your shoulders. Now you can see here, I haven't tightened these shoulder straps up much and see how I'm not having a gap there? That's because I've customised the fit as we did in the first part. But I digress and go back to these two straps at the top here. 
you want to pull them in nice and tight so you're not getting that leverage effect of this backpack pulling you backwards if they're loose. On to the final part right now. All right, we've nearly got our backpack fully customized to our body shape. Final part is the chest strap here. Now, some people don't worry about the chest strap. I personally like to have it done up because what I find is when I'm walking, the shoulder straps wanna slide a little bit over your shoulder and that's due to your arm swinging and they're gonna wanna ride back and ultimately they're probably not going to be too comfortable so what I do this is the final part just getting that chest strap in just so that these are tucked in nicely and you can get movement in your arms for when you're actually walking and then you're just tightening that all up so there you go pretty easy but it's gonna make a massive difference on your trip Okay, so I hope these hints that I've given you can help you customise the fit of your Tasmanian Tiger Raid Pack Mark III. I've had a few people ask me how happy I am with it and how it's been performing. Look, I'm very happy with it. I do a few decent hikes. I use it as an alternative to a camera backpack because with this I can carry drinks, I can carry a stove, food, and towels and things like that and I just carry my camera around my neck and the tripod goes over my shoulder so I'm really happy with this backpack once again if you like what you're seeing it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up even better hit the subscribe button that way you won't miss any of my latest videos thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now